what's up youtube welcome to our video in this video we will learn how we can uh, get real time or uh, live updates uh, from firebase using our c sharp application so here is the database we are using uh, for this video so there are uh, these bunch of users and i want uh, the live update of this user's data so how can i do that this is my project from the previous video if you don't know how to configure a uh, firebase using this uh, firesharp extension you can watch it from the link in the description now for this video i need a, re a rich text box now let's create a click event for this button and inside this i will only write live live call and now i will create this method using async void live call and inside this method an infinite while loop which is created like this and inside here i need a firebase response to get my results await this and client dot get async so this this will get my data without uh, stopping or hanging my application and the address is the users slash 12 i want the live update for the student 12 now to convert this response into a readable type dictionary string comma string so we want it in the form of dictionary equals to json convert and not json converter but json convert dot deserialize object so now we have to give it a data type because we want to retrieve the data in the form of dictionary string comma string now inside this round bracket result dot body dot to string now update rtb now inside this reach text box dot clear and then reach text box dot text plus equals to So basically the key is name and the uh, value is Dante. Similarly, the, the key is pass and the value is this 909. So that is why we are retrieving the data in the form of dictionary string comma string. So one string for the key and one string for the value. and we need some gap between these so let's copy it and paste it three times so 0 1 and 2 now let's try to run it but before that i want to add a timer over here uh, not a timer but a delay over here so task dot delay so let's keep it to 1000 and let's also change this to blank string you don't want to update the data too frequently so live data now let's change the data so to you can see that the uh, is admin variable just changed now also change the password and the name press enter so everything is updating and the application is not hanging while it's updating the data you can press the button and do everything
so this is all for the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel see you next time